Today we're out here in Northfield. We're in the Holiday Manor Shopping Center. We're in an area where it's some really greatly built homes with a lot of convenient access to a lot of areas in Louisville. What's up everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Living in Louisville channel. Like I said, today we're out in Northfield. Uh, we want to tell you all about this uh, this area here, some of the neighborhoods around here, and just, just all what's here. So the first off, the thing that, that a lot of people are really drawn to this for is just the great location. Yeah, you've got access to everywhere. 264 and I-71 meet right here. So you can turn out of the main neighborhood of Northfield. You can be headed on I-71 downtown, five minutes you're downtown. You can take a right, you can head up towards Cincinnati, you're on your way very quickly, or you can go the opposite way on 264 and be to most places in the city very quickly. Yeah, I mean, and you're here, obviously we're here at the, like you said, the uh, Holiday It's the Manor. Holiday Manor Shopping Center. And you've got a lot of stuff here right behind us here. you got Kroger, so uh, pretty much everything you need right here. Uh, some some boutique type looking stuff here, I guess that's yeah. That's you, yeah, you've got a lot of boutique <laughs> kind of stuff. You know, Grossa Grama is a uh, highfalutin kind of Italian place. People mm -hmm. like eating there. The Kroger across, it's funny to talk about a grocery store. I actually grew up over in this area and there used to be probably five or six businesses right there. Now it's just Kroger. It has just grown right. and taken over everything. It's a, a pretty huge Kroger. It is. Real quick, I want to remind you, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, press the little bell down there to get notified when a Living in Louisville, Kentucky video drops. And if you're one of those folks that's actually thinking of moving to Louisville, well, you can take it a step further. You can email, call, text, or sound the bugle, because we want to get off the races to help make your move a smooth one. If it sounded like you like the location, you like the stuff that's here, the convenience of it all, uh, what kind of homes do you have here? What are the neighborhoods like? You've got a lot of really nicely built homes, all brick typically, with basements. Um, you're gonna be probably in the five or $600,000 range these days. Um, I grew up in Northfield um, in 1974. I wasn't born yet, stop it. Um, <laughs> the entire or nearly entire neighborhood of Northfield and part of Indian Hills and some other places in Louisville was completely leveled by a huge tornado that came through. So everything is 1974 or newer and at one time this was kind of a premier neighborhood but as jefferson county expands out some of those even more expensive homes are getting out closer to the boundary of the county yeah so what i think we should do let's jump over and uh you mentioned indian hills mm -hmm. let's look at a uh, neighborhood just show you what it's like here in the northfield side and we'll jump over and show you indian hills too let's do it all right here we are now we're um just, you know just an example of a street here in uh, northfield nice and quiet nicely built homes they sell in the 500,000, 600,000, um, occasionally lower, occasionally more, but that's pretty typical. Um, a lot of them are ranches, but you've got some two stories as well. Yeah, I mean, you've got, uh, you see the big mature trees. You've got some room too, you know, some places around Louisville you're getting, get pretty tight. Yeah. Uh, here you've got some room to spread out. Uh, so that's really nice about this. Like I said, it's really, really just a, a quiet, peaceful feel here. It really is. And super convenient to places. There's actually uh, right behind, there's a senior living community. Um, used to be a um, nursing home that I was made to volunteer at. Just a little yeah. fun fact. <laughs> you, you've got some history in this neighborhood, right? I sure do. Where, whereabouts? Well, I grew up in that <laughs> house right there. So, so there you go. A little history. Here you go. So you, you, you know the neighborhood probably better than most people do, um, and it's a nice spot. And you're, you know, we we just came from uh, just where we just were, you know. So if you want to go to your groceries, your restaurant, uh, Italian place that's just playing fantastic music outside, uh, you want those things where we're like two minutes away. Yeah, two minutes away. Very convenient to all kinds of shopping, dining. But like we said before, if you want to be downtown, hop on 71. You're there in five minutes. All right. Well, let's actually hop. I think a little bit in that direction. Let's go show you another spot you can get right around here, real close and that's Indian Hills. And over here in Indian Hills, uh, you've got a pretty big variety of stuff when you come in. It's, it's yeah. kind of similar to where we were. It looks a lot like Northfield when you first come in, um, but as you get closer to River Road, which Indian Hills goes all the way from Brownsboro Road to River Road, the houses get bigger, they get fancier, and sometimes it's almost a secret. Um, the one behind us 
it looks like just kind of, you know, your regular old ranch. But if we were at a different angle, you'd see it's massive. Mm -hmm. it, it goes forever back there. And on the way in, there were lots of houses undergoing renovations, um, lots of new modern touches. You're a little bit of a higher price point generally than Northfield here. You're gonna be, you can probably get in in the fives, but you can go up to over a million in here depending on what you wanna find. Yeah, especially once you get into, I mean, as you can see, you can get some that are just on massive lots in here. So you get a lot of space, um, the houses too. And this one's cool too, like uh, Neil was talking about, they've got the the horse back there, uh, a little yeah. history there of that. Yeah, big kind of derby festival corporate art project 20 plus years ago. Uh, lots of famous artists painted up all these horses and they're, they're fiberglass and then they're, they sit in front of a lot of different kind of special places in Louisville. The fact that these guys have one right there in their yard says that these guys are probably doing pretty well. But that's what you got here and uh, you know it's uh, just you know I like having that big range where you got all those different options. Yeah. And you, got, you got something for most people there and you know we're still in the great location. We worked our way a little bit closer to uh, kind of towards the downtown area, but we're closer to... Uh, we're closer to St. Matthews. Say St. So Matthews. if you get back out to Brownsboro Road, uh, you all can look on the map, follow along, take Chenoweth, and boom, you're in St. Matthews, right there in the heart of it. Or you can go a little bit closer to town, you're in that Crescent Hill area into Clifton, and then boom, Butcher Town, New Lou, downtown. Yeah. So that's kind of, this is kind of giving you an idea. Now these are, you know, very nice homes. A lot of them built in the 70s, you mm -hmm. know, both of these areas. And, you know, we're kind of getting, we're, we're not in downtown, but we're not on the outskirts either. We're kind of midway through. Uh, so if you kind of like this, but maybe you do want something a little newer, and maybe you don't mind being a little bit farther out, mm -hmm. uh, there is another option for you. And we actually have a video that you can check out on that one where we went and checked out uh, the uh, Norton Commons. Norton Commons, very cool, planned community with a lot of mixed use developments. Definitely, you've got to check that video out. Yeah, so, if, that's, if you want something a little newer, it's right here. Check it out. We'll see you there.